All right, people. Welcome back. More daily duels. So of course today's Monday, and that means we're using the world champions. So that means they're gonna get the shit out of them. I mean, it's pretty obvious. You know, any any deck that wins worlds, of course, gets hit. And uh, the quote unquote, you know, kilt. Uh, but really, I mean, the deck is probably. I, I you know, how much flat do you think I'm gonna get? They're like, oh, you're just using the deck because it won worlds. Like, no, I'm using deck because it's Monday. <laughs> like that, 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 that's literally it. I'm using the deck because it's Monday. I'm not using. Even if it lost worlds, I it, it would still be Teller Night Monday, of course, because you know Mondays are on, are on daily duels. I mean, Mondays are on daily duels. Teller Nights are on daily duels on Monday. Just given. But yeah, they won. Tell them won. No surprise there. So, I wouldn't, in this video, of course, I'm going to be discussing, you know, my opinion on how Worlds went down. And, uh, you know, of course, what I think Konami's going to do to this deck. Because it won Worlds. It's as simple as that, you know. You win Worlds, you get your ass beat. <laughs> oh, and we were going against Cosmo. So, you know, a deck that people are hoping will be able to uh, compete, but like I said, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest fan of Cosmos. I'm not blown away by it, especially if this guy's not running any back row. If he's not running any back row, and it's literally just Cosmos, then I'm not going to be impressed. So, show me what you got, because right now, I mean, not, I'm not saying that, you know, Tower Knights are even better because they became the world champions or anything along those lines, but, uh, definitely, uh, I just don't think that the deck is uh, that strong. Yeah, definitely not. You know, tier like 1.5 in the current meta of the TCG like uh, Teller Knights are. I'd say that they're on my radar. They're like low tier two at the most, so mid to low tier two. Anyway, uh, so Worlds Teller Knights won, and I expected Teller Knights to of course be there, and I expected them to possibly win. You know, it was between Teller Knights, uh, Ritual Beast, and uh, Cleese. At before it even started, of course, we're like, okay, well, definitely those two that we did. We of course excluded freaking uh, Shadals, like not even close. Like, oh my god, he's actually playing back row. Oh my god, if he's actually playing back row, then we might actually see some power. I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and emergency teleport is probably one of them, and then the other one maybe some back row. I'm not sure because generally I don't see a lot of back row from. Oh, it is back row. Holy crap. I said, I generally don't see a lot of back row from this deck, so it should be a good duel if he's running back row because uh, the, uh, the deck is aggressive, and I definitely think that it needs some back row to back it up. That, that's just my opinion, because when I what I've been seeing from this deck is they go full-on aggressive. Yeah, they go full-on aggressive. That's fine. You can compulse me. I said you probably should have waited, but I guess you wanted to go ahead and compulse me now, so that's fine. So I guess I'll go ahead and... I don't even know what I'll do. I just have a whole bunch of Teller Knights in my hand. No back row, no nothing. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and cast Tell You. Because, of course, you like to float, but you hate being in hand, and, of course, you have, of course, like a Good Witch or something like that. But, hey, that's just less back row i got to worry about if you have another Good Witch or Farm Girl in your hand. Oh, wait, I shall put you back into the deck. Well, I think I put you back in the hand. Hello? It's wrong fucking card. Uh... No one, and I don't think anybody, except for the people who are, you know, playing the decks in the world, no one expected Necros to to, to be there at Worlds. At the, you, you know, you would assume that's a too risky deck, and let alone do so well. Like, that is amazing. That, is, that just shows how good Necros are. With, with the, the with the hits that TCG does, combined with the hits that OCG does, and the hits that ARG has, it's amazing how well that deck has be, remained so stable. It's just shocking, really. Uh, of course, in Worlds, Necros, a deck that you would think, why would the hell you take the Worlds when both lists are combined and we have different hits? With Cycle, Unicorn, uh, Brio, Shriet, Rhoda, Manjo at 2, all those cards, all those top cards I just said are at 1, and then at 2, it's amazing. What card? I don't even see what card he added. I think he added Farm Girl, but I'm not sure. He added Emergency Teleport. Okay. That's fun. Damn, I am just getting monster after monster after monster after monster. Mm. This is a tough one. See, uh, see, the problem is I don't want to overextend. I kind of want I want to pull the farm girl out because obviously he's gonna go emergency teleport something farm girl. That that that's a given. The question is, what does he have in his hand? 
you know. I don't really want to overextend just because if he wants to go emergency teleport, farm girl, farm girl, go ahead and summon, you know, like a forerunner or something out of his hand, then I can handle it in main phase two by going into Trev and just be like, back to your hand, you know. Which is, eh, eh, you know, it's really just eh. Now, Forerunner is, of course, great because it's like, hey, you know, it doesn't, you can't target me, but shit. So, you know, you got to be broad with it, handling uh, Forerunner. And, of course, my broad card is Trib, but then Trib goes, puts it back in the hand, and all he needs to do is either draw into a, uh, a farm girl or another good witch, and then I got to do it with the Forerunner again. So, I said, there's no point in me overextending. There really isn't. There's no point. You got that emergency teleport, but of course, farm girl is only as good as it what can attack over and do damage to, and uh, it searches. So, you know, unless that's what I'm saying. This is the problem with one of the problems with Cosmos. If you don't have your big guys in hand, you know, it's cool that the big guys can go ahead and summon the little guys from uh, deck when they're when you know when they're destroyed. But the little girl, the little guys need the big guys <laughs> to be in hand to summon from, and of course. Farm girl, very lion because you know you need farm girl to do that damage. Okay, so you're just gonna kill my my Castell. That's fine. Like I said, Castell wasn't doing shit anyway, so there you go. But Necros, just like with all them hits, and they still not only do they someone risk taking them to worlds when you think okay this deck won't do anything because it's so hit, but then it does something. Like that's amazing. That's amazing that Necros did so well. But then of course. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get a lot of damage to me, which is fine. So the duel comes down to this back right here because, of course, Con uh, Farm Girl's gonna hit me. Uh, effect, uh, and of course, go ahead and search your Forerunner. Then banish that some Forerunner hit me for 28. So it comes down to your back row because I'm gonna triv you next turn, obviously. And with me triving you, you're probably gonna get wrecked to an extent. I say you're just lucky I didn't open up with any back row. I did not get any back row in this duel. I mean, MST is nice, and Call of the Haunted is just got destroyed by Forerunner, so that ain't nothing, but, you know, yeah. You're just lucky I didn't open up with the, you know, the Fiendish Chains and the and the Novas and shit. I get none of that. Just got a handful of monsters. And Teller Knights? That's not good. That's not good. Oh, and then limit removal. Thank you. All right, cool. So, you clearly saw that he had Solemn Warning Compulsion and limit removal, so. Even when, well, I mean, if you get Number Generator, then do your thing, but... Anyway, I'm gonna be right back for another duel. All right. So, uh, in the finals, you know, top four, there's two Necros, two Tellers. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, that hero player, he tried to bust it. And Ritual Beast, I, I, I kind of thought that Ritual Beast weren't gonna get as far as they, as I thought they would, just because that deck has consistency issues. Like I said, I put that deck as a print, as a tier 1.5, and you know, if you put in that work and, and it does well, then that's great. But generally, I, you know, I'm, I have not been too impressed by that deck. Uh, at times. Sometimes I'm just like, wow, you know, Ritual Beast, that's uh, such a good bat, but the Nine of Infernities, and other times I'm just like, there's no open up bat. You, you open up just fantastic, and you go off, and you get your, your, your ulti come out plays, and you, you go ham, right? Or, you open up so booty that you're not r really doing anything. It's one of the two. It really is. It's one of the two, and it's sad that the deck is like that, so, you know, despite the guy going undefeated in Swiss, he ended up, of course, not making it to top four. I mean, I think he made the top eight, but of course it didn't make it to the top four, so there you go. That's how that went down. And uh what else? What else? What else? Just Necros and Satellers. Top four. Two Necros, two Satellers, and then of course one Necros duel against one Satellar and one ne and the other one Necros versus Satellar. One Satellar beat one Necros and then one Necros beats one Satellar. The finals, of course, once again, Necros versus Satellers. And, um, you know, I was actually really hoping, not because, of course, I had some tellers in real life, but I was really hoping that Necros would win, just because I wanted to see what Konami was going to do to that deck. I mean, at this point, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to go ahead and, uh, and hit a, a deck like uh, Necros as much now. I, I definitely don't think so. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and grab your, uh, your Malefic Cyber, even though you can't special summon. Uh, and like I said, I had the MST, so it was literally as soon as you freaking uh, special summon him and face you anyway. But uh, I was hoping, because I wanted to see what they would do. I mean, clearly, I mean, they've hit, with the list combined, that deck is hitting the crap out of it. And then it still wins Worlds. I mean, maybe Konami will go ahead and take the assertion, like, you know what, it's still got second place. So that's still, you know, a pretty big feat. But, you know, if it would have won, and like I said, it was only, you know, it was a lucky draw and stuff like that. 
you know, it could have won. It really could have won, you know. Uh, Galileo could have, you know, beat Shinsuke, but hey, you know, Shinsuke finally, you know. Man goes from freaking third to second to finally first. So finally he won. But, uh, you know, and Kim, I didn't have the sun. It's pretty, pretty smart choice to go ahead and just, you know, tackle me with Ruffian because, you know, you don't want to risk the number. You know, and I'm not going to hit any of your back right now. I'm okay. Unuk. Well, Unuk doesn't really do anything. Unuk, Unuk helps with the consistency of sending, but it really doesn't do anything once you get that Deneb in the graveyard. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the Altair with the Alpha and beat over his fucking train. That sounds like a fine idea because I don't want to exceed because of course I have Nova. So maybe he has MST. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, at this point, I'm still okay in this duel. I was, uh, wish I had got some revival. You know, I do run, you know, triple call, triple Oasis, so. Wish I could float a little bit higher. Wish I had Trev. Trev would be great. I mean, not Trev. Vega. So. MST would be great on tech decoration. Go ahead and MST my alpha. I'll drop back down to 2700. I mean, 2700, 1700, and run into your ruffian. But if there's anything else back here, I'm unaffected. So, so I really like this ghost spell. It's fun. I tell them I said my fun deck, and now they're about to get crushed by the list. So, like I said, maybe they'll go ahead and hit Necros, but uh, at this point, without without them winning, I'd say maybe the most that they'll do, uh, now that they see that Necros are still a good, uh, you know, can still be a good deck without, uh, despite all them hits, they'll probably just go ahead and copy them hits. So they'll probably just go ahead and go, you know, like, you know, we still, we clearly saw that, you know, uh, no matter how hard, even if we hit this deck really hard, it's still going to be a pretty good deck. So they might just go ahead and be like, you know what, let's just copy what OCD did with the hit. So, you know, let's just go ahead and um, put Brio to 1 and Unicorn to 1 and Cycle to 1. You know? Because they clearly saw it. It's, it's still Necros. So, you know, they, especially since they didn't win Worlds. Because that's what I, I wanted to see them win Worlds because then I wanted to see them get hit even harder. That's what I wanted to see. But, of course, we're not going to get to see that. This kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So, Teller Knights. How, how, how are Teller Knights going to get them to you? Of course, Grim Reaper knocks on any deck that wins World's Door. You know, uh, even if you're not the best of decks. Even if you're uh, freaking... Uh, okay. Go ahead and go into battle phase. So I can go ahead and space you. Even if... You know, even, like, uh, when you look at, like, the TCG, Infernity's one, Infernity's one relevant in TCG, but, uh, they won Worlds, they get hit. So, Teller Knights, of course, they're not the best, they're not one of the best decks, you know, they're, they're tier 1.5 at the most. Hmm. No, that's okay. Okay, I want to pull a little bit more out of you. Wow. Exodus. Super chocolate flesh cover? Yes it is. Okay, I mean I have the Nova for that, so that's that's cute. Oh wait, I can't respond to that. Oh bullshit. I couldn't respond to that, I forgot. I was like, oh I can Nova that. Like no, you can't. It's fucking spell speed four, like son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Wow. MST got the ass. I'm risking this. I'm being a risky. I'm risking it. I don't want to just build MST at this back row. I'm going to pull off the trip play. If I can pull it off. I'm definitely going to attempt the trip play. But this back row. This back row is pretty important right now. So of course we're going to go ahead and go into. Oh shit! I clicked the wrong fucking card. God fucking damn it. Ah. Fuck. Clicked the wrong fucking card. Say, so, do I even run fucking Pleiades in here? No, I don't. I misplayed. Wow. I misplayed. I clicked the wrong fucking card. You all look the same. Shit. 
<sighs> now I gotta put Pleiades in here. Duh. Fucking bear back. Fucking stupid. I could've won that duel. Misclicked. God! See, this is what I hate about fucking YDO Pro and Dev Pro and shit. God, that would not happen on fucking DM. But here, it's just like, oh, you click it, there you go. Like, fuck, it wouldn't happen in real life either. Ah, uh, bear back. Okay. Losing through stupidity's sake. I'm losing through number generator and misclicks. Like, come on. Come on. Come on, people. We can do this. We can do this. Ah, oh, my bad. I apologize, people. I really do. I apologize. Anyway. Uh, trying to, of course, think about what the, what, what are they going to do? What are they going to hit? Or what, you know, what are they going to do? Generally, when it comes to decks that win worlds, they quote-unquote kill them, but they don't really kill them because the decks, of course, the decks that win worlds are still playable, you know? When Dragon Rulers won, they were still playable. Our Infinities are still kind of playable. It's just, it's just a handful of hits that hurt, you know? Uh, I mean, of course, Love Lolo Chain did not get banned. Uh, Soul Charge got hit, which is, you know, the big enabler play. So, of course, the what gets hit, the big enabler play, and the consistency get hit. You know? Um, okay, my opponent skipped it up. Go ahead and get another duel. But, uh, hold on, let me finish my thought process right now. So, the big the big enabler play, and the consistency get hit. You know? Dragon Rush. The big enabler plays got hit. Uh, you know, like, you know, the... the the babies, the enable, you know, the enablers like the babies, and the major plays like, uh, you know, the oh wow, they can go into like a star eater with the breach check in it. Oh wow, they, you know that sword, that sword's a number. Oh, the the sacred sword is an enabler. Uh, the 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 the. It's surprising that they didn't ban return, but I don't think return. They trying to probably return, you know. Um, Zector plays, you know, lower the consistency, corner to one, hit the enabler, uh, uh, dragonfly. But um, I'll be right back and get another one, and then talk more. All right, so uh, let's just go ahead and take that into consideration about the same place. So, what was the major, 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 major play that uh, put in so much work when it came to uh, Teller Knights? Triv, obviously. Triv is was the big player, obviously. And I, you know, I stated before, Triv should be at one. It's probably going to go down to one. Um, as you can kind of see, majority of the time, especially in the final duel, whenever he dropped Triv, he won. It was as simple as that. Whenever he summoned Triv, the the uh uh, uh Shinusuke won. Whenever he did, and uh, it's pretty obvious that that's that's one of the cards that should be hit definitely. So Triv to one. Don't be surprised. Triv to one. All right, moving on. I'm not sure if I want to set this, but just because I'm gonna definitely activate these two, so. Nah, I'm okay. Of course, as soon as he activates, during his draw phase, I'm going to go ahead and activate Oasis so I can have the nap to Nova. I think that's a given. So, of course, I'll search that Altair. So, Telenite's still really good. Plays are just like, hmm. So, the smart thing for you to do, Arm Dragon, would be go ahead and summon a monster that's tied to a thousand attack and then simply attack on me without activating anything. That would be the best plan. But you still got to deal with this Nova. You know I have the Nova, but you still got to deal with it. So, hopefully you have something. Let's see, I'm, I'm Dragon. See what you do. So, I definitely think that. What card I definitely think they're going to do, they're probably just going to go ahead and put Rota back down to one. Uh, they clearly saw in Worlds that uh, it didn't affect Tower Knights only with one on. Of course, it didn't affect them too much. They still won, you know. And uh, it's, it would be a nice indirect hit to both decks. Both decks that won. You know, Rota at one for, of course, Teller Knights, because, uh, you know, uh, Slice Shred at one, you know, you could still go ahead and search it with high consistency uh, with uh, Rota at start three and also Colossalus, so. Ooh, well, I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and drop that Light Pulsar, so. That is definitely a thing. Just special tribute. Wow, and no back row. All right. And if I kill you, you special summon a Dark Level 5 or hire a dragon type monster from your graveyard, which will of course be him, so you can have that depending on I'm mad at. The question is, should I go into Deltaros or should I go into Trill? I guess I'll go into Deltaros. I don't live in the ghetto. I just live on a major street and they always drive by. Uh, so, as like I said, it would be a fun hit, but of course they're going to do way more to tell right? and just throw it at a one and, you know, Trev. Like I said, I think I think there's going to be like three cards to get hit, but uh, I think Rodas is probably going to go down one. And it sucks that it, it has to hurt, hit other direct decks, but like I said, when you really sit down and think about it, I mean, is there really any uh, 
deck that Konami is really uh, trying to promote that's Warrior, and don't dare say Ignites, because no. That, that's literally just in the set. That's literally just in the set, just to be in the set, you know. Uh, they're not promoting, you know, Noble Knights anymore. They've already done that. Teller Knights are done. So, you know, there's no reason to go ahead and not to put Rota back down to one for profit's sake. So, you know, like I care. So, of course, Light Pulsar, go ahead and tell. Uh, the reason why I did Delta Effect and pop Light Pulsar, and then I'm going to deal with the Dark uh, Dragon, of course, honest, obviously. No. But that could probably go ahead and equip and tack over. Okay, that's fine. Let's change the turn. Let's change the face of Dragon Type Market Field is sent to the graveyard because of a card effect or being destroyed in battle, except for blah blah blah. That was card. If at least one of those marches in the graveyard is a Dragon Type Market Field, you can add one. Okay, that's optional. If this card is always treated as two tribute, I'm going to go ahead and kill him. I don't care about your freaking Vice Dragon. I don't give two fucks about him. I'm going to kill this guy and kill your Keeper. This Keeper's a pretty decent card just because he's going to, you know, continue floating. Yeah, we'll go ahead and equip, just so you, if you think that you're gonna go ahead and throw like a Regeki at me or something, like, nah, I'll just go be, I'm just gonna turn my fucking Deltros into a killer. So, definitely Trev, Trev the one. Rhoda's probably gonna go back down to one, no surprise there. Uh, oh, you're just gonna sink. Okay, that's fine. So I got Phoenix Chain right here for your ass, so, that's fine. I don't think you're going to activate your effect. I think you're just going to go ahead and sink 8. Hot. That's fine. Like I said, using your effect won't kill me, so... You're just going to try to crash. Well, I'm definitely going to chain you down. But no, you're not going to crash into me. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh-uh. I'm in control of this duel. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and Rota Search. Rota Search for Delta Rouse. Oh, let's go ahead and talk about the last card that I think is going to get hit. I think it's going to be Delta Rouse. Uh, like I said, when it comes to Konami, they hit the Enabler and they hit the Consistency. Hitting Rota down to 1, of course, Konami clearly sees that. Even if they hit Rota to 1, Telenice will still be... And like I said, it kind of sucks that because generally the decks, in comparison to the various metas, aren't OP in respect to their own meta, but they're seeing, oh, Telenites won Worlds, they're clearly OP, they won Worlds, you know. So, they're clearly saying, like, alright, well, even if we hit Rota down to 1, Telenites are still good. We saw that in Worlds. Perfect example. So, what are we going to do? Well, we hit the, we hit the, 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 the broken play, the, 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 the enabler, per se. We hit the enabler. So what do we hit next? We hit the consistency, and uh, clearly, uh, hitting Rota is not enough. They're gonna get a hit Deneb. They're gonna probably they're gonna go ahead and hit Deneb down to one, and uh, and through that they they're gonna go. I think they're gonna hit, keep their tire at three because your plays are still the same. They're just limited. They're just hindered, hindered. So you, if you go ahead and do your Deneb play, I mean your Altair Deneb play, the deck's not dead. You know, you still have your Novas, so the deck's not dead, but it's definitely hindered. And a great way to go ahead and hinder Teller Knights is to go after the consistency. By hitting Rotor down to 1 and Deneb down to 1, you're going to be relying on a lot more cards that are going to be playing differently. You're going to be playing them Sky Bridges, you're going to be playing them Posse you're going to be playing them in Nuclear Highs, because you're going to need to get to this one Deneb. And then, of course, you know, I thought it was a little extreme, but they, and of course that precedence, they went ahead and hit um, Archfiend to 1. Deneb is pretty much in the same boat. Deneb and Archfiend are pretty much this, in the same boat of being the enabler of the deck and uh, the consistency of the deck. So by hitting Deneb down to one, uh, especially no set precedence on hitting Altair down to one. Uh, I, I, I was paying attention to what his plays are that I kind of lost my train of thought. Okay. I mean... I don't know where you're going with this. Actually, you know what? Because you can go ahead and synchro summon. Then not activate the effect and crash. I'm going to go ahead and over you. And then when you think, and of course people are like, oh, you know, definitely, uh, oh, that's interesting. That card gets summoned. That's what, I knew this guy was going to be putting in at work, though. Keeper of Shrines. Keeper of the Shrines. Every single time I destroy a fucking dragon. Yep. 
Wow. So, uh, the number generator is interesting. The Breeze Dragon, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Interesting. Interesting number generator. Interesting. So, I'm, at this point, I'm probably still going to go ahead and out resource you just because I'm going to have a lot more plays than you. A lot more plays. Especially with no back row, like yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna out resource you. I'm gonna outpace you, out resource you. I mean I guess I'll get you. It really doesn't matter. I'll probably just go ahead and go into another Delta House. It's interesting that, you know, the breeze stopped in the breeze, but nope, I got that red eye stock with metal. Which is weird because of course the keeper of shine pull off that play like a boss. Did his job well. Alright, so I am going to. You know what? Maybe I'll just go ahead and go Vega into. I mean, I have the rudder right here. I can set up feature play. There's no reason for me to overextend too hard and push. Or I could just go Vega, summon another Deneb, search. Because multiple Denebs, the consistency is too high. The consistency is too high with the play. So uh, I think that's just how it's going to go down. You got an effect there or something? <coughs> so, of course, we'll go ahead and search, and, you know, we still got Vega and Altair, so we can throw us and trip him again. That's it. I, I'm probably thinking that my opponent's thinking, sitting here thinking, like, wow, he's running Tone Knights because they won Worlds. I really do. So, like I said, I think that's a pretty good prediction. Yeah. Uh, maybe go ahead and clean up some of the hits that I didn't do for Worlds. Possibly bring back a... Oh, cool. So you did have the Veilor, but you were just waiting for the major play instead of the minor play. Okay, well, I mean, I have Soul Charge, so... Like, that's cute and all. Activated... Who's effect did I activate? I didn't activate all tires effect. Yeah, I haven't even used Altair this duel, so Altair will go ahead and summon me one. And then I just have this. I'll go ahead and summon one as well. Like, cool story, bro. Having that effect really. Like, no, I'm gonna protect my fucking red dragon. Like, no, no, no. Unless you have a, if, unless you have a second effect railer. In which case, I still get you, because it's still just completely outpacing you and out resourcing you. Let's go into another Deltaros. Like, what's better than one Deltaros? Two. Well, it's definitely not gonna trip your ass. Like, why the fuck would I want to return that to your fucking hand? Like, this is bad. Die. Go. Now you gotta deal with two Deltaros. So you only had to deal with one, now you gotta deal with two. So. Say, so, you gonna get Soul Charge? It's fucking Vice Dragon. Wow. Wow, that top deck though. So, sync that and that. Into, yep, Scar Right. The top deck though. Scar right, you know it's actually Scar Light, and uh, like I said, Necros will probably go ahead and get the hits that they got that they gave in the OCG. Uh, Tower Knights, like I said, I think it's gonna be Trip to one, Rudder to one, Denep to one. Uh, maybe clean up Burning Abyss a little. But like I said, maybe do the hits that they were gonna do before this World's List, because of course this list, current list is World's List. Of course that's given. You know, uh, they banned level all chain to make sure that it didn't, you know, do uh, what it did last Worlds. Don't even make it possible to be in Maple Light Worlds like it was last time. And, uh. And, uh. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Maybe, maybe Cleans? Like I said, our, our Clays didn't even top 8, which is not surprising just because I knew they were going to have a big target on their head and the Klee players weren't the best. Even in the fucking Dragon Duels. Like, that was fucking retarded. So. <laughs> So now at this point, I mean, I don't even know who I'm summoning. I really don't. So 
Did I just summon that one from my hand instead of the one from my deck? Yeah, I did. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so then main phase two, you're going to use your effect? Okay. Well, that's it. You top decked, but I still outpaced you. But hey, I mean, I am the world champion, right? Holy shit. That's all I've been drawing is warrior monsters, 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 monsters. Like, damn. So, obviously, I'm going to go into Triv this time, even though Triv isn't that good, because I'm not going to be able to pick anything out of his hand. But. At least Triv will float in the graveyard with, you know, Altair and, and Deneb and shit. So, so, of course, we'll go ahead and go Vega. So, you top decked. So, the only thing you could really top deck to fuck me up right now would pos possibly be... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and deck them. Send these Sky Bridges. I don't need them anymore. Possibly be, uh, like, Soul Charge. In which case, if you top deck Soul Charge, then I'm just gonna fucking eat my hat, because this is getting stupid. Regeki wouldn't save you. Soul Charge would just be a perfect top deck. Soul Charge? Oh, I'm just gonna set a monster. It'd be funny, watch it be like something that I can't fucking kill. Wow. I said, watch it be something something that I can't kill. Watch. And of course, this card counts as two tributes. Watch him drop, draw into something. And said, stop top decking! Oh my god, this duel is stupid because you keep fucking top decking. Maybe I should have won the diamond. Just I want to kind of float with the... With the... Triv. Okay, foolish. What are you foolishing? And of course, Glob Bob, go ahead and pit send special. Fucking go into like a fucking Armades or a Catastra or something. God fucking damn it! Stop top decking! So fucking annoying! could activate this pot, but like I said, I think Diamond's gonna handle this situation. This card destroy a battle and sing out of like I'm just kind of uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go into main phase two and go into diamond. Fuck it. So stupid. Seriously? I, oh top deck to foolish to go ahead and send to go ahead and do the synchro play. Like what the fuck? Like really? Watch him top deck Regeki. I swear to fucking god if he top decks Regeki. Actually, you know, in my luck, he'll probably just go ahead and... Oh, that's to say. I'm about to fucking say. Oh, thank you. Hell yeah, I'm gonna cut this on my diamond. So, what does it say? As it seems to turn, every player can send cards from their deck to the graveyard. And any card that returns from the graveyard to the hand is banished instead. Generally, the first turn, when a dark monster activates its effect, the adoption of material from this card to the gate. What the suck thing is, is that I'll, I'll be able to go ahead and kill him. But he'll probably just go ahead and summon this fucking keeper back again. Like, whew, this still is super annoying. Give me some revival. Some revival would be great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, oh damn. Hmm, I wonder which card I want. Looking like a motherfucking, uh... I know, hard fucking choice. <laughs> so of course we're gonna go ahead and kill you. Are you a dragon? Yeah, you are. So fucking not only are you gonna activate, but you're gonna activate as well, so and then I think I'm gonna miss because he's gonna play I think he's gonna be able to activate the other guy. 
Wow. 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 Fucking, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna negate the wrong fucking card. I'm gonna negate the wrong fucking card. Yep. Wow. Ah! This fucking duel! Are you fucking shitting me? Wow. Whatever, it's fine. I can fucking negate fucking Red Eyes Darkness Metal anyway. But wow. Wow. He actually made me fucking miss his fucking Samfire because this fucker went off. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me? I am going to fucking just kill myself right now. Like, wow. I shouldn't be losing to this deck. I should not have been having this hard every time, but yet I am. Because this guy keeps top decking and getting lucky. Like, oh my god, the luck. Fuck your luck. Cannot stand luck. Oh my god. Wow, are you shitting me? Wow. 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 Y you just are the luckiest motherfucker in the world. Wow. Top decks right into Insta fucking fusion. But of course, someone noted, no one's gonna summon something, and he's gonna clearly handle me with like a 101 or Castell or something. Like, wow. Wow! This is stupid! No. Fuck, man. See, this is why I cannot stand fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Fucking luck. Cannot stand fucking luck. Are you fucking shitting me right now? Are you fucking shitting me right now? Oh my god. Why am I having such a hard time in this duel? Why can't I end this duel? Why? Because he keeps fucking top decking. He's literally top decked for the last five fucking turns. Like, oh my god. And just when you think I have, nah. Nah, it ain't over. It ain't over. Fucking top deck again. Top deck fucking again. No, I'm not negating that. You can have fucking red eyes metal. You're trying to bait me. You're trying to bait me to negate fucking red eyes metal so I'll, you'll black rose me. Like, no. No. Fuck you. Have it. I don't care. There's not a single fucking dark monster that can fucking handle and a dragon in your graveyard that can handle me right now. So, no. Fucking floaty ass bitch. This is so fucking stupid. <sighs> I forgot Black Rose was a fucking fire. Once again, I keep on fucking thinking it's a dark. Why? That's fine. Hold on. Let me see. Is this like when your opponent... This card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Or this card you control is sent to the graveyard by opponent's card fire. Negate that. It's clear you're gonna keep on trying to come back, so fuck it. <sighs> Why don't I keep on thinking Black Rose? I mean, cause maybe cause it's black. It's fucking racist, but it's true. It's cause it's cause it's black. That's why I keep it. Yeah, then you would have floated. I said I failed too. We both fail, but you, your, your luck is up. Good. Your luck is fucking up. Watch him this be what's I'm gonna say, what's this be like a fucking ghost dog or snow rabbit, and then he fucking fucks me up again. Love this equip spell. This equip spell's put in so much fucking work. I got eleven cards in my deck, like at this point I should draw into them. Even if it's a Gores, I still have it. Hey, what's the fucking Gores? Like, no, I still have it because can, Diamond can negate that. So, thank you, fucking God. Oh my God, that duel was annoying. That duel was super annoying just because he kept top decking. And I was like, oh no, you can have your fucking Red Eyes Darkness Metal. I'm just gonna go ahead and fucking negate the Black Rose. Like, Black Rose is fire. I, I don't know how many times I fucking keep forgetting that Black Rose is fire. Just because it's black doesn't mean that it's dark, stupid. I'm like, oh my god. There we go, finally. So, like I said, I think I definitely think Trip to one, Rota to one, Deneb to one, and then the deck will just have terrible consistency. Just like how Insectors were. Terrible consistency. So, I think that's how they're gonna take it. I'm not sure if they're going to bring back Lavalva Chain. Maybe they'll just keep it banned. Because Lavalva Chain would then once again be another enabler for the deck.
They really would, because it would just be another Sunder, of course. And then what would you do in Tower Knights? Triple Nuke, Triple Pot, fucking... If you still want to run the deck, Triple Nuke, Triple Pot, uh, uh, probably, probably even Triple Mathematician, just to go ahead and send that one nab, and then run Revival Cards, Triple Call of the Haunted, Triple Oasis, uh, maybe Skybridge, maybe... Uh, of course, Vega, Altair. Uh, so, like I said, the deck's just going to be different. Like I said, I don't think they're going to kill it to where, you know, it's completely unplayable, but you're not going to be able to do certain plays. You're not going to be able to go ahead and be like, well, I opened up with Throta and Deneb, and, you know, did that play? I mean, if you open up with Deneb, then awesome, you know, you're still playing Telenet. It's just like, you know, Insectors opening up with Dragonfly and having the Hornet, awesome. You know, you're still doing your plays, it's just not as extensive. And, of course, Trip to 1. There's Trip, going Trip, 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 over and Trip's looping, as a dumb. So, there you go. This is coming from a person who has Tower Knights, so buy my precious Tower Knights, like I said. Depending on how they hard they hit it, I'll probably just keep the deck. Like I said, it's my fun deck anyway, so I can probably find a way to do something with it. I mean, for goodness sakes, I'm already playing fucking Alpha, so there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. So tell me how you think Truck and Tower Knights are going to get hit. Necros too, like I said. I think Necros are just literally going to get um, hit with their MLCG just to bring them down, but uh, not kill them. But they can clearly can clearly see you. Even if we do these hits, uh, they're still gonna be good. So there you go. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I, the thing is with doing a ban list prediction, I just I, I just can't really predict what they're gonna do just because not a lot has happened yet. Like I said, there's gonna be another ban list coming up because they always do one after World. Maybe in September. Maybe in October. But there's gonna be one coming up. Maybe not possibly soon. Like I said, but maybe soon. Depends. I said, maybe low level chain will come off, probably not, maybe. Uh, Stratos is never coming off because of how well Heroes did, even without Stratos, clearly. So they're like, no, why, why the hell would we give them more support when they did, I mean, they topped it. They, they won fucking uh, uh, Nationals in OCG with fucking Heroes. And then they fucking top eight without Stratos? Like, no, why the fuck would we give them Stratos? So, no, Stratos is... <sighs> Bye, Stratos, you're gone for like pretty much fucking forever. And, uh, like I said, maybe a little bit of cleanup that I didn't do on this list that we have now. Maybe maybe they'll hit Burning Ghost. Maybe they'll hit Cleese. Maybe they'll hit Shadals, you know. But, there you go. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. Sorry, it was a long one. It looks like this duel shouldn't have lasted as long, but this man just kept top decking and top decking and top decking and top decking. So, but thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Tagging, using trains. Which is a duel I should have won against, but I fucking misclicked. Should have clicked Trib, but I accidentally clicked the Tolan Miles. Thank you, fucking Depro. Wouldn't have happened on DM. Wouldn't happen during the life, but fucking Depro, you can't take shit back. So there you go. <laughs> that shit wouldn't even happen on Nationals. I should have fucking put fucking Flame Ghost in my extra deck, huh? Oh, I'm in my main deck. Alright, people, I'm done. Thanks for watching.